love supporting local performers of all mediums, whether they're painters or sculptors or theater people. And we're trying to combine these worlds of people who like musical theater and theater and people who like to go out and see music performances. We want to make sure that we are promoting each other, sharing tickets, sharing promotion, all that good stuff. So tonight we get to speak with Chandler Hubbard. Uh, he's got a show at Firehouse Theater coming up. He's an actor, a playwright in Richmond. His 2019 play Animal Control was the recipient of a Richmond Theater Critics Circle nomination for Best Original Work. Other works include Molly House, The Minotaur, and Man, the live podcast. His screenplay, Shanadar, is currently in post-production. He graduated from UVA, and he's a proud member of the Dramatists Guild. Dramatists? I think it's Dramatists. Dramatists <laughs> Guild. Clearly, I'm not a thespian. Uh, his show, uh, Romana Clef, is a world premiere play. It's a quiet, seemingly empty theater. Six actors rehearse a new play about family, fear, and flight. When a stranger joins the group demanding answers, the line between fiction and reality fades. What begins as a play within a play devolves into a play without a play. It sounds cringy. I love it. Until all that's left is the truth. Uh, so we get to talk to Chandler about it. Welcome. <laughs> what in the world made you think of this concept? And are you so excited just to see what in the world happens with this? Yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens. Uh, they are currently in their final rehearsal tonight, and we have our first audience tomorrow, so we'll see whether or not uh, people like it. There's a good chance they'll say, oh, <laughs> and that'll be that. So what do you think societally, like, I, I don't know, it's how we watch TV and how we interact between distancing and alienation with COVID, but then we share everything on social media. I mean, do you have an idea of how it's going to go? Do you, are people going to participate? Or are they? I hope they do. <laughs> it's it's been tough coming out of COVID. We've lost like three or four pretty um, major theaters in town after COVID. Uh, Firehouse Theater is one of I think three or four that are left, and Firehouse is really the only one taking risks right now and doing new work. And so I I owe them that. How did you come up with the idea for this? Uh, so long story short, uh, in 2019, I was hired to write a show for elementary schools about um, the dangers of human trafficking. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, basically everyone told me, well, you can't tell them about human trafficking because they're children and people will complain. So you have to mask it and talk about other things. So the idea of this was how we talk around the truth and how we as storytellers sort of have a responsibility to the truth and not just as artists, but as people. You know, we have our individual stories, we have our own histories, and sometimes we use that to tell the truth and sometimes we use that to hide the truth. So this play is, you know, it's a reflection of sort of how I got through the process of writing a play for children about um, some really uncomfortable topics. I mean, children are so much smarter and more perceptive than people like to give them credit for. Oh, they're smarter than us. They know the, the barometer of the household, no matter what you're trying to hide, yeah. their perceptive, I mean, they know. So it's silly to think that they can't. It's certainly not anything they want to hear about, but stranger danger, remember that, stranger danger. Uh, so this is going to be at Firehouse Theater. You can get your tickets at firehousetheater.org. And if you don't know, they are a thriving hub of creative creative activity, creativity, where new work is produced and performed. They strive to challenge and expand art through innovation and development, presentation and community participation. They're committed to amplifying the diverse voices of the new American theater and fostering innovative performance and organizational practices. They are at 1609 West Broad Street. Uh, and again, you can get tickets at firehousetheater.org. I hope it goes well. We need to hear. Thank you Thank so you. much. What a neat idea.